Okay, so Skoda Fabia 2016, broken handle inside. I couldn't find any videos about how to do it, so I thought I'd make a video myself as I tried to find out how to do it. So I'm guessing you take away this part here because I've bought a new one and it doesn't have that grill on it. So what I'm going to do first is take off this grill and see what's underneath. It's a tiny little screwdriver. Yeah, it's popping out. So you can see that it's going to come out. There it is. Okay, so the electrics for the wing mirrors are there. There's a speaker here, which is on the new unit. So that's fine. Just have to find how this is attached to the car. Okay, I think I see a fixing in there. So yeah, it appears to be a, a Torx 15 by 15. Torx 15, that seems to be the size of it. So I shall unscrew that and see what happens next. Okay, I found it by wedging apart the door and the panel. You can get the top to come away. So that'll give a bit easier access and gradually just work my way around the plastic. Oh, there it goes. So it doesn't really need much of a screwdriver, which is good to protect the trim. So just gradually easing plastic out, there it goes. One handed, so it should be open. Yeah. Just nipping that through. Okay. So it's just about there. And at this stage, you can see there's a wire in here, which the door handle is pulling from further into the door. And in there, there's a connector. So sadly, it appears you can't do it through this gap. So it goes way down there, you're going to have to pull that out. So it looks like I'm going to need to take more of the panel off. Hmm. Plot thickens. So I found that by pulling this little notch off of here, you can pull the panel back. That was, it's flexible enough to move it slightly. You can see in there. That's where I'm getting at. Now watch out because there is a, there's a fix in here which I've managed to detach. Although I've dropped it down and broken a bit, sadly, but anyway. Apart from that, I can get my hand in now to reach this cable. So by prising off this little white retainer here, you can get this thing to move. And that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, it's come out. And thankfully it didn't disappear down the door. It stays still, so that's fine. I'm able to leave this while I go and take this part away. Carefully look inside here and take out the electric terminal. Now, this very fiddly electrical connection to get the smallest screwdriver you've got, pop it in the hole, and it should just ease off. And I fitted the new one just exactly the same way around, so don't mess anything up with the wiring. Okay, so this is the new unit now, complete door handle. Just have to reverse everything and put it all back. Yeehaw! So I'm going to thread the new handle up through here. 
and attach the cable on the other side and swing that up through the latch. Okay, there it is in position. I'm just going to latch this back on to here. In. Everything always goes back together easier than it comes apart. So that's the new handle in place for opening the door. You can hear the mechanism, that's good. This is going to pop through. In. Yeah. Right, and then it's the final sliding together of the um, of the door panel and the handle assembly. Okay. There it goes. Let's clip them back in. With a bit of flexing on this panel, I managed to get it to clip around. So that looks tidy now. And just as a final check, the windows do still work, which is a relief. And the, um, the mirrors do still work as well. That's a relief. And finally, mainly what I was here for. So yeah, job done. Good stuff. Ah, nearly forgot. There is a screw to go in here. So I'll just, I'll just get that one and uh, reattach that. Don't want to have a screw loose. <laughs> Thanks for watching.